learning objectives after completing this module learners will be able to understand the differences between goods and services learn the significance of the resources in the concern of the production of the goods and services understand how the decision making will work in regard of resource allocation learn that the resources of the individual is scarce and thus every individual tends to allocate the resources in respect of combination of goods and services understand how government controls the methods of resource allocation in a centrally controlled economy learn how government controls the ways of distribution of the final goods and services in the centrally controlled economy learn about the production possibility set and production possibility frontiers understand about the opportunity cost of an additional unit of the goods learn how market operates in an open economy in the work of compatible production and resource allocation learn how the price signals work in order to elevate the problem of allocating resources learn about the distinctions between the positive and normative economics understand about the basics of macro and microeconomics a simple economy and its critical problems goods and services resources and individual decision making unit any type of tangible or physical objects which can be used to meet the people's want and needs are termed as goods the concept of services is though different from the goods it depicts the intangible satisfaction of wants and needs the apple juice will be enough to meet your quench and from a doctor you can get the medical service and consultation which is example of the services resource is something which is predominantly utilized to produce the goods and services like labor in agricultural lands to produce the crops and grains the knowledge and expertise of the teacher for teaching the students and so on every individual in the world needs to decide which goods or service they want most this decision making unit can be an individual a household a firm or any organization as well resource allocation and compatibility of production production and its need are to be compatible with the demand of the respective goods and services which creates the increase of the production in positive effect of the demand increment choice of the goods produced and production possibly frontier there are several questions which arise in the perspective of the scarcity of resources and choice of the goods or services they are Firstly what are those products to be produced and how much Secondly the way to produce those products and the third is for which group of the society those products will be produced The collection of all possible combinations of the goods and services which are produced by the aid of specific amount of resources and through the supervision of specific genre of technical knowledge depicts the production possibility set of the economy the production possibilities of two goods or services can create assimilate in a curve which is called production possibility frontier it shows the maximum amount to be produced for the sake of the amount of other goods or services organization of economic activities the centrally planned economy and market driven economy the problems regarding the resource allocation in the economy can be resolved through the interaction among the individuals pursuing their own objectives in an open market or through some centrally planning authority like the government in centrally planned economy government controls the planning of resource allocation and the priorities of the production according to the need of the people for an example if it is found that in health and education sectors the appropriate resource allocation has not been done by the individuals 
government can induce more resources in these sectors and by itself the government can produce by allocating the resources at its own. Market can be depicted as a set of arrangements where the economic agents can interact with their due endowments and products with each other. The increase in the demand of some definite goods and services causes the price rise and it thus signals the producers to allocate more resources in the production of their respective goods or services. Thus, the market controls the resource allocation through the interactive coordination of the economic activities. Positive and Normative Economics In brief, in positive economic analysis, it depicts the discussion how different mechanisms in the economic function and in the normative economy, we try to understand whether these mechanisms are desirable or not. The processes have been discussed in the light of its desirability and in scale of the relevance of the current economic situation. Although both of them are discussed interactively and none of them can be analyzed without taking help of the other one. Microeconomics and Macroeconomics In microeconomics, the individual's attitude with the market in respect with the price of goods and services and their respective interaction is discussed. Such as, what is the level of total output in the economy? How is the total output determined? How does the total output grow over time? Are the resources of the economy fully employed, etc. On the other side, the macroeconomics focuses on the aggregate measures of the output and price level as a whole is looked after with a broader spectrum, such as total output, employment and aggregate price level. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. By goods, we mean physical, tangible objects used to satisfy people's wants and needs. The term goods should be contrasted with the term services, which captures the intangible satisfaction of wants and needs. As compared to food items and clothes, which are example of goods, we can think of the tasks that doctors and teachers perform for us as example of services. By resource, we mean those goods and services which are used to produce other goods and services, example, land, labor, tools and machinery, etc. By an allocation of the resources, we mean how much of which resource is devoted to the production of each of the goods and services. The compatibility of production and consumption of goods and services holds for a country or even for the entire world. The scarce resources of economy have competing usages. In other words, every society has to decide on how to use its scarce resources. Every economy faces the problems of allocating the scarce resources to production of different possible goods and services and of distributing the produced goods and services among the individuals within the economy. The allocation of scarce resources and the distribution of the final goods and services are the central problems of any economy. The collection of all possible combinations of the goods and services that can be produced from a given amount of resources and a given stock of technological knowledge is called the production possibility set of the economy. The curve gives us the maximum amount of goods or services that can be produced in the economy for any given amount of alternative goods or services and vice versa is called the production possibility frontier. There is always a cost of having a little more of one good in terms of the amount of the other goods that has to be foregone. This is known as the opportunity cost of an additional unit of the goods. In centrally planned economy, the government or the central authority plans all the important activities in the economy. In a market system, all goods or services come with a price, which is mutually agreed upon by the buyers and sellers at which the exchanges take place. The price reflects on an average the society's valuation of the respective good or service. 
the positive and the normative issues involved in the study of the central economic problems are very closely related to each other and a proper understanding of one is not possible in isolation to the other.